big acquisition, well, small acquisition that IBM made. Uh, you know, they've been doing a bunch of uh, tuck-ins uh, left and right, filling out their portfolio. Daniel, what's the what's going on here? Yeah, it caught my attention this week. Uh, actually, found the deal first on uh, LinkedIn when Tom Rosamelia, leads of the business software for the company, posted about this, and I said, "Wow, you know, have, we're seeing a trend line here." Uh, we were at Cisco Live. Company made a big splash about its observability portfolio. IBM has made a handful of, like you said, tuck-in acquisitions across its software suite um, for, uh, you know, observability and APM and uh, ITSM and, and IT ops and AI ops. And we've got all these things. And you and I have talked about it with Splunk. We've talked about it with Logic Monitor. We've talked about it Data Dog. There's a lot going on. But basically, this exponential data growth is causing an incredible amount of pressure on companies to figure out how to make sure, A, that their data is good, their data is secure, their data is accessible, their applications are running. This is not, um, you know, this is not a simple thing for companies to fix. And as enterprises get bigger, as the hybrid IT environment gets more complex, uh, the investment that companies and enterprises are going to need to make in observabilities is palpable. And so IBM has basically shown that it is going to continue to gobble up small strategic assets. And by the way, this is something IBM has done for a long time. I believe one year, not that long ago, I think they acquired 100 companies in one year. An acquisition every three, three and a half days. Um, and this is one that's really designed to help companies make sure that their issues with their data are resolved before it causes financial impact. That's a big thing when you think about ERP systems and other systems of record, having something that can basically be strategic, that can make sure that it, your data is in the right shape, that it's being utilized correctly, and that the quality of the data does not have a negative impact on the bottom line is substantial. And it's something that I think IBM sees that fits really well into that hybrid IT, AI, data strategy that the company has. Long and short, is it a big deal? No, it's not a big deal. In fact, it's small enough that we don't even know how big the deal is. But don't mistake that kind of deal for being unimportant. So what the company's doing is it's piecing together a number of different solutions, gaining intellectual property, probably buying them right now in a somewhat uh, conservative market space where they're getting it at a good value. And they're gonna be able to roll this up, put it into their software portfolio, make it available, um, and continue to add value to their marketplace. So. I'm big on observability. I won't continue. I won't really beat that drum anymore for IBM. Good acquisition. Um, again, see how it all plays out. I'm watching carefully how do these integrate with other observability uh, plays and other data management plays that the company has made. But I like the direction they're heading, and I see they're leaning into this area as something that's a trend line that will be favorable to the company. Yeah, observability is is hot, Daniel. It's funny. I think in the first hundred shows, maybe we talked about it once. And, and here we are, <clears throat> the last 10 shows, uh, we've talked about it every, every other show. And really what this is about is this is about the cloudification of, of IT. Uh, even though the public cloud started 15 years ago, only 75, only 25% of, of the data is, is in the public cloud. And, you know, I can roughly estimate 25% of the applications, but is we as enterprises move into the a cloud model and it's spread between the endpoints, uh, the compute uh, edge, edge of the network, the data center, public cloud, uh, and colo. Uh, not only is the infrastructure has it fractalized, but also the way that we make applications. So, no longer uh, are most developers building these monolithic applications where they're only tapping into uh, their own their own services they're writing them in a way that taps into uh, either microservices or apis and apis at different companies that are crossing different uh, areas so you know when your end customer if you're an enterprise has an issue you need to know what in that you know the hundred variables uh, what is going on and and where did it break? So that that's kind of big picture. And also the industry ha is really moving to moving away from one off observability tools uh, into um, more like, uh, you know, full stack or or end to end. Cisco calls it 
uh, full stack um, and um, logic monitor calls it uh, end to end. Basically, it's a very similar concept. And then the future uh, is is about getting so smart about what's happening, you can predict what's happening and put the fix automa auto magically in place. So that's that is kind of the big picture uh, of it. And I'm glad to see IBM continuing to get into this. IBM is going to have to have uh, a full stack observability if it wants to play with with the big dogs. Um, I, I, I like this as well um, because it's focused uh, on on data, uh, but still it's it's a it's a tuck in. But uh, good job, uh, uh, good job, IBM.